welcome back to the channel guys today we're working on the m4 we're going to show you guys how to do the dct service on it starting with taking off this cover so there's a few eight millimeters and then there's one 10 millimeter cover removed we now have access to the pan. All right, so the DCT on this car has got two filters, one like this, and one that's more of a traditional style, like so. And then for this, we've also got a new pan. Since you can't get the gasket separately, I'm just gonna replace the pan. Both filters, new fluid. So the traditional style filter is obviously under the pan right here. And the other filter is behind this snap ring and cap right there. We're gonna start by making sure our drain and fill plugs can come loose right here. And then we'll take this pan off. So the fill plug is an eight millimeter, but there's not enough space for this to go in there. Even tried a short one, not enough space. So what we're gonna do is take the normal socket here with this bit, I'm gonna use a punch, punch the bit out, and then put a wrench on it. All right, the bit is out. I'm just set this part to the side. Just find a wrench for this. Wrench acquired. The bit's inserted. Obviously it's a eight mil Allen, so an eight mil wrench. Nice. All right, so fill plug's coming out. I wanna make sure that, that can come out first before draining all the fluid, cause if you strip it or it can't come out, that's gonna be a problem. Now we'll loosen the drain plug here. All right, so the drain plug on it is a 10 millimeter Allen. So just put that in here, pop it loose. All right, so we're using this catch pan here so we can see how much fluid comes out. There's a speck on it, but kind of helps to know what was in there before. All right, now we're gonna remove the 14 T30 bolts that hold the pan on. With the pan bolts out, we can now take out this 10 millimeter bolt here. All right, with the pan off, we now have access to the filter here. But this six millimeter bolt is in our way. So just remove that real quick. This little tube should come out. With that out of the way, we can remove the T30 here and then the T30 on the opposite side. Right there. Now we reinstall the new filter. And then we'll put these screws back in. We'll torque them to eight Newton meters. All right, now we're putting on the six millimeter Allen and the little pickup. To edit that out. <laughs> now we can move on to putting the pan back on. Again, we're going with a new pan, and then we'll be torquing all the perimeter bolts to 10 Newton meters. We'll also be torquing them in the sequence shown on the screen here. The suction filter is replaced. So now it's time to do the pressure filter. It's got a snap ring here. I'm gonna have to take that off. All right, with the snap ring removed, we should be able to lever out the cover here. So we're just gonna put a pick like this in here so we can hook into it and then pop that out. Now we can pull the filter out. New pressure filter inserted. New cap. 
also inserted. So you know the pressure filter cap isn't all the way when you can see the race here that the snap ring goes on. Now to put on the snap ring. All right, both filters replaced. Time to start the filling procedure. All right, so to fill the transmission, what we're gonna do is remove the fill plug that we loosened up earlier. Fill it with fluid until fluid starts coming out. Then we're gonna put the fill plug back in, go up, start the car, and hold it at 2000 RPM for one minute. Hopefully by that time, the transmission fluid temperature will be above 32 degrees Celsius. And then we will remove the fill plug again and top fluid off until fluid starts coming out. And we have to do all that after it gets to 32 degrees Celsius, but before it hits 40 degrees Celsius. So here we go. So here's the fluid we drained out of it. Definitely have more than five quarts, probably about six. So we know that we're gonna need at least that much. Here, we're using this Mighty Vac. We're gonna fill this up so that we have this small tube here to fit up into that hole. All right, fluid's running out. We'll replace the fill plug and go up there and start it. All right, in the car. All right, while that's warming up, we'll get the vehicle information loaded here so we can pull up the transmission temperature. Here we have different temperatures. There's control unit, engine temperature, oil temperature, the clutches, temperature sensor one and two. This is all in Fahrenheit, so we could definitely move it over to Celsius. All right, so now that we're monitoring the oil temperature, we can hold it at 2000 RPM for one minute. While still monitoring the temperature. All right, so we've been holding it at 2000 RPM for a minute now. Our transmission temperature is between 32 and 40 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna have Brian raise this up in the air a little bit here. And he's gonna add some more fluid while I'm up here monitoring the transmission temperature. So Brian got the fluid filled right before we got to 40 degrees Celsius there. So now he's gonna put the fill plug back in and tighten it to 25 Newton meters. And then we're going to put all the covers on and take it for a test drive. So any of you guys that have the S55 with this DCT transmission, definitely don't be afraid to do this yourself. It's pretty easy to do. Just replace both filters, the fluid and the torque specs. You'll be good to go. Smash the like and subscribe.